So you can see the grain of the black rice. Black rice is very tough. So to uh, make sure it's a nice tender rice and less cooking time, we're going to soak it overnight. But if you don't want to soak it overnight, you can just cook it. It's just going to take more water and a little more time. But I did soak it overnight right here. And the refrigerator, you can soak it overnight. And now we're going to rinse out this water and we pour it into the pot. Soaked overnight, see how much it has fluffed up? You can see the rice will be fluff up for one cup of rice. We pour into a pot. And to get all the rice out, it's one and three quarter cup of water. If you soak this overnight, you should get all the rice. And black rice is not cheap. It's one of the most expensive rice you can buy. And the, another three quarter cup. Quarter cup of water. To it, I like to add some seasoning to the rice. So I'm going to use um, garlic roasted base. And also, I am going to use a better than bouillon chicken seasoning. Or you can use a chicken bouillon. Whatever you like to flav flavor your rice with. And also, of course, is some butter. If you want to keep it healthy, you don't have to add the butter. All right, so we're going to put that in there. And we're going to put in a teaspoon. We're going to put in a teaspoon of the chicken broth for flavoring. And then we're going to put in half a teaspoon of the garlic. So if you don't like garlic, you don't have to add it in. Add some black pepper. Use season to how you like it to taste. And we're going to bring it to high temperature so that way the butter can melt. Bring the wild to a boil. And also the seasoning will be mixed in. You see the water starting to boil. You can also melt the butter in the microwave. So it'll be faster too if you want. But I just want to mix all the seasoning in here first. So you can put all the seasoning together with the butter in the microwave for 30 seconds to melt up the seasoning and then you add into the rice. So you can see the water starting to boil and the butter is melting. So just mixing everything in. Just give it flavor because sometimes the black rice is uh, a little tough to eat so you want to add a little flavor in there or you can just uh, cook it with just plain water and eat it with your main course and you see all the butter and the seasoning is done now you can leave it alone and we're just going to let it simmer we'll bring the heat down okay we're gonna bring the temperature down you want the water to be bubbling a little bit so I'm, I'm on an induction cooker so it's at 225 for the temp and now I'm going to cover it up so it can cook it at that temp. So you can see it's boiling. See, you see how it's still boiling? So you, so you, you don't want it to be a hard boil like that. So I'm going to bring the temperature down. So it's 200. So once you get a cover, and it's at a slow. So I'm going to leave it at 225. At 200, it's not boiling. So we're going to leave it at 225. And let it cook. See, it's still boiling. Not done yet. 
you see the rice, the water is going down, so the water has to dissipate completely. And then we'll fluff the rice up for another five minutes. How the water, it's almost gone. The water has absorbed into the rice, so it's all the water. Oh, there's still some water left in here. So let's cook it some more. Oh, and you still can see water, water in here. So it's still could dry out a little bit more. have some water in here okay. so it's nice and fluffy let's see get it out the steaming way yeah that's the way it's supposed to be though let me take it here see that oops okay let's taste it mmm so Tender, flavorful, and it's done. Bon appetit. Dave is going to be my taster for the black rice. What do you think, Dave? Very good. Okay, all Very right. Good. It's tender, it's not crunchy like you would expect. A darker rice, a brown rice, or black rice to be. Right. The secret here is soaking the rice overnight. Ah, okay. That's what we did. Yep. And then cooking it slow until it absorbs all the water. Mm -hmm. Black rice needs more water than regular rice. So slow and absorb all the water, you get a tender rice. And I flavored it too, not just plain black rice. Yep. What did you flavor it with? Uh, we did a little butter, a little chicken bouillon, and a little garlic. Okay. But you can add black pepper. You can make it your own, whatever mm -hmm. you like. You cook it in a, a rice cooker or did you oh, on no, the stove? On the stove top. Okay. But we can do it in a pressure cooker or a rice cooker. But this time I did it on the stove top because not a lot of people have a rice cooker mm -hmm. or a pressure cooker. But you can do it either way. Pressure cooker will be faster. Probably only be 15 minutes versus half an hour. Okay. All right, bon appetit. And we are making southern fried chicken today with Ma fried chicken we have all-purpose flour cornstock two eggs two pack of sasson garlic lorry seasoning and ground cayenne red pepper okay. and also black pepper okay mom I already said that all right so using a tablespoon okay that's one it's not level, okay? So mom does a little bit on the heaping side. So two heaping tablespoons of flour. Make that three. Four. Five. We're going with five. And... One level cornstarch so far. Two. Two. Yeah. So in cooking, you know, it's not exact measurement. It's very forgiving. So you you need more flour mixture, you can add more. But the ratio This is gonna be a batter. This is a batter. Right. It's gonna marinate overnight in this. Okay. That one's one uh Oh, you're uh -huh. using half a tablespoon, okay. Well, the other one was a tablespoon. Okay, half a tablespoon of garlic. And what's that, half a half tablespoon, tablespoon of cayenne, cayenne pepper. pepper? Okay. Okay, ground pepper. This is one spicy chicken. But if you don't like that much pepper, you can reduce that, okay? And this is seasoned salt. Okay. 
So that's like a tablespoon. It's two half tablespoons. So that makes it one tablespoon. And two bag of sasson. This is to give it a nice color. It gives the nice color, the sasson. And a nice seasoning. Yes. We love sasson. And if you don't have sasson, you can use paprika, but sasson will give it a nice, uh, enhance the flavor a little bit more. It's up to you. But this is the base to uh, marinate the chicken in. Make sure you wash your chicken good with vinegar. I'm going to wash the chicken with vinegar. But mom, these days a lot of people are not washing their chicken, mom. You know, they say that when you wash your chicken, all the chicken juice bounce all over the kitchen, cross-contaminating a lot of stuff. Well, that's why you, what you get to do, you wash, wash everything where you wash your chicken and then you wash it down with bleach. Yes, I understand that. So as long as, you know, when you wash your chicken, don't try to uh, run it, wash it under running water, put it into a bowl. It will be less splatter and there'll be less cleanup. But it's up to you. Oh, and here's the secret. You add eggs to this chicken. Two eggs. And you put all your seasoning in there. Put all your seasoning. Mix it well. Mix it well. So you mix it up well. Put overnight in an airtight container. And mom likes to close up the ring. Okay, mom, show it slowly how you close up the ring. Can you turn around, turn around this way? There you go. Or you gotta hold it up so mm -hmm. they can see it. Well, they can't, they, they can't see it, mom. Hold the ring before you fold it up. Okay, now fold it. Oh, you tuck it under. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you show it? Okay. 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 So this is what the wings look like. A bag of just plain all-purpose flour. And we're going to shake the extra flour. Oh, shake the extra flour off. Okay. All right, go for it, Mom. I'm going to put it in there. Shake. You know, if you have a paper bag, a bigger paper bag, because we don't have any paper bags, so that's why we put a little Ziploc bag. Okay, so we're going to leave the temperature at 400. We're going to bring it down to 375. Because we don't want um, the chicken to cook too fast. It burns. And we're going to make sure and want to cook inside. Back. But we also have a digital thermometer to check the temperature of the chicken as well, Mom. So here we're shaking some more chicken out, taking the excess flour out. And this is the marinated chicken. And you don't want to crowd the, the, the pan too much. So we're only going to do two wings. So we'll cook faster that way. We're going to do it at 375 now. It's all depend on how um, big your pot is. How much oil you have in there, so you know when you deep fry. But you don't want it at a low temp because then it will soak in the grease into the chicken. Chicken, so cook evenly on both sides. And these are chicken wings. I'll show you to pick up the bone. I'll say about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Now, I have a thermometer, so I'm going to take the temperature of this, the internal temperature of this uh, chicken wing. And right now it's at 167 and 76, so these are done. You can also poke a hole in it and see if there's any uh, red coming out. You can see any red coming out, you're good. So let's take these out.
and we're going to let it rest. And let's just check the temperature sitting out here. Let's see. See, the temperature out here is 177, so it's plenty done. Temperature, 177, now let's do taste test. Let's eat some, ma. Huh? Look at that. Let's taste. Let's have a little piece. Mm. I'm going to feed you a piece, ma. Here we go. Very good, flavorful, not too salty. So just perfect seasoning. Black rice with fried chicken wing. Southern fried chicken wing. What a combination. Let's dig in. I need some fried chicken wings here. Look at that. So juicy. Mmm. Crispy. And here's some black rice. Mmm. By soaking the rice overnight, the rice is so tender. Because a lot of black rice can get crunchy. Mmm. I'm putting the flavoring in it. The chicken bouillon, the garlic, and the butter. It is so good. And this chicken. So crispy skin. The crunch here from the chicken. Bon appetit.